Hello, hello, welcome to the video. So the other day I got to see 65, the new dinosaur movie that surprisingly is on a part of the Jurassic Park series. However, just like most films in the modern era, rather than actually having passion put into it, they just slapped something together and people mindlessly consume it for some reason. Although, now that I say that, there wasn't that many people who turned up where I ended up going to see it. At least 18 people or so, and this is at a place that can hold a whole lot more. The plot of the film is that this astronaut transporting people in stasis through space crashes on this mysterious planet. However, they don't make it very mysterious, since they just straight up state near the beginning that he crash lands on Earth 65 million years ago. Because Hollywood producers don't seem to understand that that's roughly 1 million years after the meteorite actually hit. Meaning that, ignoring the fact he somehow travelled through space and time with no explanation, Adam Driver wouldn't get to see non-avian dinosaurs anyway. Ignoring that also, the goal of his character is to get to the emergency shuttle roughly 115 kilometers away from where he crash-landed before the meteorite hits, and he also has to protect this young girl who can't speak English throughout the whole story with them running into numerous dinosaurs trying to attack them along the way. Which leads me to the Argentinosaurus sized elephant in the room, the dinosaurs. This is probably what most of you came for since I cover a lot of dinosaurs and dinosaur related stuff. Now if you want accuracy in your dinosaur movie, don't watch this film at all. The designs are garbage, generic, soulless rehashes of already done designs. I remember watching a video from the YouTuber Terradome3000 where he basically said people freaking out over the designs are just, stu are just being stupid. He tried to argue that we don't know everything about dinosaurs, that people aren't as stupid as paleo nerds think they are, since you have ones like Spinosaurus always making headlines, and a bunch of other junk he tried to use to defend these designs. Now I'll cut him some slack here and say we don't know everything and paleontology is an ever-evolving science, but really, don't you want to set some sort of standard for dinosaur film designs? What has happened to the idea of trying to innovate, become better, and surpass your predecessors? Make those who came before you proud. But oh no, the designs are so, like, awesome, bro, so therefore you're wrong because blah blah blah. Sorry if I seem a little hostile here and there, by the way, but I honestly hate this sort of ignorance when it comes to this. Yeah, I get it. Not everything is known about dinosaurs, but that doesn't act as an excuse for an anything goes approach to dinosaur designs in films. We literally have stuff showing what these animals' scales looked like in life, yet they give us these things that look like a Tyrannosaurus sexually violated an American alligator, and this is the unwanted fetus. Like, there's a reason why people are calling these designs generic, sloppy, and whatever else. How many games, films, shows, and other pieces of media show this sort of, uh, sort of look for a large carnivore? You see this in big budget films like King Kong 2005, and even smaller productions like Speckles the Tarbosaurus, where they just have to stick crocodile skin and other things they didn't have on them. And after a while of seeing the same crap in movies, it gets annoying. Hence why people want something new, hence why people want accurate dinosaurs. How can you keep defending them when it's literally the same trash being thrown at us? Don't you want something new and original? But oh no, oh wow, oh my god, a giant robot that transforms into a vehicle. How awesome, we totally haven't seen this before, Now, but now we have. Such original. Look, they're even using the original designs for, oh wait, they have done this before. Overall, ignoring the garbage and overall disposable and uncreative designs, the rest of the film is not that great either. The characters don't really do much, and it overall feels very forgettable to the point I can't even remember much of the film, let alone enough to describe it further than just being, well, forgettable. And like I remember some Scottish alcoholic on YouTube saying, possibly the worst fate for any film is to be forgotten, and overall I think that will be the route of 65. Even though you'll have YouTubers big and small covering it and adding onto the list of videos about the film already in existence, it will most likely to just fade into obscurity for the general audience. 
Now you might be quick to pull up the IMDb page and say it made 56 million on a 45 million dollar budget, therefore it was a success, but the thing is that's the overall profit. Once you factor in what goes to the actors and all that, the studio if I remember correctly gets around 55% or so of the overall profit. And since the studio is the one paying for it all, for them it will be a loss. So on paper it looks relatively successful, but in reality it was a flop for the studio. Overall, I wouldn't recommend 65, and that's all I got for today. Go away now.